Hello Kaiju Nerds, Caddy Vern here, and today I'm going to review a different Kaiju figure. And as you can tell by the corner of my screen, it is the fun, quote unquote final boss of Ultraman Gaia, Zogu, or sometimes called Zar, the Bandai 1998 Zogu, or, well, Zog. I will call her Zogu. And this is, yes, yeah, specifically the one where she goes all bestial mode. And I will say this, um, so far, <laughs> I expected this to be a bit bigger because of how big she is. I mean, if you've seen the show, Zogu is huge. Um, but enough of talking about the show itself. Because you're here to re for the review of this figure. Because you want to get it. And I will say, this is a good figure to look for. Definitely a hard one to find, but pretty good figure nonetheless. So let's get on to the review. And let's start with the sculpt work. Nice detailing. Though it's probably be very similar to the um, costume that was used uh, for Zogu in the uh, show, as you can tell, detailing along the bottom. Very, very nice. Detailing on the feet, very good. Detailing on the claws. Detailing along the chest here. And the detailing on the horns. And the wings. The wing detailing is very amazing. The finer details along with the belly are very much. Very much. But she is very spiky. She is very, sp very spiky. Fits with her, um. Fits with her, um. Uh, show description, though. Because Zogu is a very spiky. A very spiky girl. Okay, this is a thing I just don't like about the kaiju, but these legs are kind of awkward. It's just the thing I don't like about the kaiju, not the figure. It's just the legs do look, back legs in particular do look kind of awkward, but that's the kaiju itself, not the figure. So the sculpting isn't bad, but there is a smooth point I noticed like right here. There is a slight smooth point. I don't know if this is due to age or it's just something went wrong during the mold. Also, saying goes along with the other side. Maybe it's because it moves. Since the articulation is can go here, that's probably the reason. Um, the sculpting though, um, for its time. Oh, also a little bit sculpting on the face. Can't forget about the face. Um, very nicely done. And inside of the mouth is pretty well detailed too. Uh, yep. Inside of the mouth. Decently detailed for it not being painted, but... Yeah. Um, I give this, um... 9 out of 10 in terms of sculpt. Sculpt in the mold. And now, moving on to, um... The paint job. So this is a 90s figure. Um, I'm pretty sure like other 90 Bandai figures, they are um, very much individually, how's that word, painted, per se. Um, so each one is differently painted, but, um, yeah, but, see, there's painting. Well, anyways, um, let's get on to it. There's paint along the front spikes all the way down to the tip. The spikes are very well painted, but if you do get a Zogu figure, especially during 2022, where this thing came out, like, about 30 years ago? No, wait. Oh, a bit over 20 years ago. So this thing would technically have some suffrage and age. 
especially with some paints coming off. Paint chippage. Um, there's silver painting along the legs. Very nicely done. Um, um, there's also some... Uh, I don't know if there's any other ones except for right here. Very finely painted, though. Nicely done by Bandai. Older Bandai, of course. Um, there is a slight mess right here along the supposedly the grayer parts of like the lining with, you know, the gold paint getting onto it, but this was probably painted by a worker, so that's okay. It's just a simple mistake. Um, there's also some gold paint along the face. Very finely detailed. Also along her eye. You can see that her eyeball is finely detailed in. You can even see a little pupil in there. In there too. And from the looks of it, um, she don't look too derpy. Okay, she kind of do with her mouth open like that, but you know what I mean. Um, there is some, it, there is a thing though. Her claws are all the round painted. And same would apply to all her claws, really. Her, um, I will say this, it, while it is somewhat accurate to the kaiju itself, the kaiju itself had a bit more color to her. This thing kind of does fall a little iffy, but it's alright. But then again, there's also fine detailing along the belly, the reddish, and the gold goes along very well with the kaiju. And the thing about this figure, why I like this figure then, okay, there's another, um, Zogu figure I found. A and the thing is, uh, Unlike this one, the other one doesn't have the wings painted on the back. She, she does. And I think that is really cool that she do, has her wings all the way painted around. And then the nicely gold paint and the red paint. Very well done. I'm recording this at 2 a.m. What am I doing? <laughs> um, her, her quote unquote crown. Nicely painted, although somewhat the inside of it isn't really as well painted. And there's also a little flop with the inside of her mouth, as you can see. It's not that well painted either. Um, I probably would give the paint job a 7 out of 10. Mostly due to the fact that the red and gold worked really well onto this figure. Um... Now we move on to the next part, articulation. As you can tell, she in total would have seven points of articulation. Semi here, I'm not going to risk it though, but it, since the movement is very, very stiff. And also considering the fact that she is pretty spiky, I don't want to get spiked while trying to... Um, move her. Uh, oh yeah, the spikes aren't really painted right here, so another issue with the paint job, but <laughs> back to the articulation. Um, um, rear place to start, but seems like the back leg moves in a, in a very nice, uh, a very nice, uh, 360 motion. So you should probably apply to the left leg. Both left and right. Can't move. Yep. Um. I, the. Um. If it wasn't held back by the wings, I imagine that the art there isn't really much, but if you move it for, for, for the front legs, um, she probably would be able to move uh, 360 but it's held back by the wings. So yeah. It's got a nice angle. A little stiff, but that's completely fine. Now we're playing with probably to the right. There we go. 
Um, okay. The thing I don't like about the articulation, that the other figure has somewhat the, um, thing over, is, well, one, her mouth is actually pain. Two, oh, when you move the arm, it's attached to the wing. Watch. The right wing and the right arm move along. The right wing moves along with the arm. As you can tell, they're both 60. So, um, yeah. Um, excuse me. Um, but yeah. The articulation isn't exactly the best. I give it an, maybe an 8 out of 10. It isn't really bad articulation either, so. Not bad for being a 90s. Also, um, I would like to point out another thing with these figures. When you try to, uh, yeah, she, she's well balanced. But the thing is, she has a tendency to, especially when you put her on a very flat surface, she will wobble a little. See? She does tend to wobble. But that's okay, though. She does stand still, and she isn't top-heavy. So, overall, the review is... A 24 out of 30. Not too bad. Not too... Not too great, but... It's a pretty good figure. And yes, this is... This is the first Ultra Kaiju I reviewed. Um... And I do plan on doing more. So, if you liked the video, uh... Drop a like. Go ahead. And subscribe. Um... If you didn't... Oh well. At least I tried making a good Zogu review. Right? Bye!